Have you ever heard of failed fusion surgery? I don't think it's failed fusion. I think it's failed rehabilitation. You see, if we look at this wonderful model from Dynamic Discs Designs, imagine that the level here, three and four, imagine that that's been fused. Now, when a person moves after having that fused segment, we'll notice that there's an inordinate amount of movement now at four, five. Check the hypermobility happening at four, five. Now, of course, all biological tissue has fatigue and load capacity. If the person's movement patterns and dysfunctions that led to the initial surgery were never addressed in rehabilitation, then it is more than likely that they'll continue those movement patterns and dysfunctions that could be quite treatable, quite correctable and then they will become the person who needs a subsequent fusion level, which is not unusual. But they are preventable. It is the failure of rehabilitation, not the failure of surgery. The rehabilitation professionals do not seem to understand how to assess a movement pattern or a disorder. You didn't learn it at university.